The mining cadaster portal can only be accessed by those companies and people who are registered. There are two methods for registering to use the portal. Manual submission at the Ministry or one of the regional offices or online self-registration through the portal. To self-register, click on the Registration menu option. Download the registration form and complete all the details. You will need the completed form available in digital format to upload during the registration process. You will also need a digital copy of your identification document. If you will be representing a company or person, you will also need a letter of authority from that entity giving you permission to act on their behalf. Once these documents are completed, click to register for an account. Complete all the details on the General, Contact and Address tabs. Note that you must have an email address to be able to register to use the portal, as this will act as your user ID when logging in and also for you to receive email notifications from the system. Some fields are marked with a red asterisk. These are required fields and you will not be able to continue until these fields are completed. You must then select whether you will be using the portal on your own behalf, on behalf of a company as an agent or employee, or on behalf of another person as an agent or employee. Depending on your selection, the documents you will need to upload may be different. Click to upload your documents. Again, required documents are marked with a red asterisk. Click OK when done. Click to agree to the portal terms and conditions of use. Once all the required information has been entered, click register. You will receive an email with a link to set your password for the first time. You can also set whether you want to activate secondary authentication. If set, then you will receive an email with a unique code that must be entered each time you log in. Click Update. You will now be able to log into the portal using your new credentials. You will not be able to use the portal functionality until the licensing officers have checked your registration documents and authorised you. You will receive an email when this process has been completed. Once authorised as a registered portal user, you will have access to view your existing licences, apply for new licences, submit your obligations and to update your contact details online.